Hey everybody, it's your girl, Ashitos Nicolitos. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, I've got the tea for y'all. I want to talk to y'all about Blueprint and their MCAT prep materials. We're going to be walking through the price, the packages that they offer, the resources, what I thought about all that they, was included in this package and why I decided to use them. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So how did I find out about Blueprint? I found out about Blueprint through the podcast that I listened to called The Pre-Med Years. And if you're not listening to The Pre-Med Years, because I mentioned this before, you should definitely start listening to them because they'd be dropping some gems on that podcast. And that's how I heard the name Blueprint for the first time. And this was around the same time that COVID was going around and canceling all of our exams. And I was pretty freaked out, pretty nervous that I wouldn't have the chance to retake the MCAT if things did go bad the first time around. So that's why I decided that I was going to invest in an MCAT prep company instead of having to invest in a whole nother application cycle next year and possibly an MCAT prep company to help me out if things really didn't go well. So I was doing my research um, and I found that Blueprint was an option that was brought up on this podcast, but it was also a much cheaper option compared to a lot of the Kaplan courses and Princeton review courses that I've seen online. I believe that a reason why it is much cheaper is because it is also a relatively newer program and I realized this a lot when I was doing further research into this program because I couldn't find much information online. I just couldn't. I was looking on YouTube, Student Doctor Network, uh, Reddit, all the places that you, you know how I feel about those places. But I was looking everywhere I could for information but I just couldn't find it. I saw that they offered a variety of different options and of course I was going for the cheapest option that I could find and that was going to be a package of I believe it was 16 hours of tutoring the 16 hour tutoring package that also gives you access to all of their other materials on their MCAT course. This package had a price tag of about $3,200 on it. Yes, I, I also had a heart attack the first time I saw that. And what I was able to do was I got a coupon code from listening to the Pre-Med Years podcast and I was able to get $400 off which brought my total down to $2,800. And yes, that still is an arm and a leg for somebody like me. So I was crying a little bit but at the same time I was just kind of like, I need to do well on this exam. So I brought money for my sister, I talked about this in other videos, but it was a struggle getting a loan to pay for this course, but I made it happen. And once I did spit out that money, I was given the resources and that included nine different things. First one up, I'm going to be talking to you about these schedules and the modules that were provided to me. So the schedule was great because as soon as I took the diagnostic exam, they immediately analyzed my strengths, my weaknesses, where I really needed to focus, and just automatically a schedule was formulated for me. And every day it told me how many mo modules I was supposed to get to, how many practice exams I was supposed to get to in the month, and it just had it all laid out so that I didn't even have to think about it. Once I got into my blueprint, platform, I knew exactly what had to be done for the day and what my goals were for the week. I was able to personalize that schedule in a way that incorporated which office hours I wanted to attend and also if I wanted to add more resources into it. So I really did appreciate this schedule and a lot of times it was filled with these modules that I talked about earlier. And these modules were just different videos about the different topics that you can see on the MCAT. So I had a bunch of modules from biochemistry, organic chemistry, biology, physics, chemistry, psychology, sociology, but I also had modules on practice strategies, uh, test taking strategies, whether it was handling stress, whether it was really identifying the types of questions that they were asking me and the types of answer choices that were trick answer choices and what to look out for in those ways. So I really like the modules, especially since I'm such a visual learner and I like learning through videos. This was really helpful that they had all of the videos that I could possibly need for the MCAT right there. The next resources that I would like to talk to you about are the diagnostic exam and the 10 full length exams that I got in this package, as well as the QBank materials. So what really made these materials, I think that if anything, these materials were a real game changer for me because I like to learn through application and you should too if you study for the MCAT. But just being able to take these exams and the way that they break it down in terms of your analytics is crazy. I mean, they really do break down every single question. They, they show you which questions you clicked the right choice and then clicked the wrong choice. They show you what percentage of questions you did that for. They show you, they tell you how much time you spent per question, per passage, per section on the exam. And this was really, this was really important for me to get a good sense of what I needed to work on. So it took a lot off of my plate in terms of analytics and seeing which sections I needed to work on and really analyzing the exams myself. Because I'm a Virgo, I would have done that myself, but with Blueprint I didn't really have to, so that was awesome. In terms of the QBank, I wish I used the QBank a little bit more. I didn't use it as much in my MCAT um, preparation. 
but the QBank was just a whole bunch of discrete questions, a whole bunch of passage-based questions. You could choose how many questions you wanted in your question sets that you would make. You can choose what different subjects you wanted to pull questions from, whether you wanted to work on easy, medium, difficult, brutal questions, and you could just be really flexible with how you made those question sets from the QBank. So I wish I used that more, but by the time I was really moving on to question practice, I um, was running out of time, so I focused mainly on the practice exams and the AMC materials that were provided to me. The next resource that I would like to talk to you all about is the office hours that were provided with my subscription. And let me tell you all, these office hours were gold, right? And the two professors who are leading these office hours were um, Phil and Azai. And, um, amazing. They were both amazing in explaining concepts, breaking down concepts in ways that were easy to understand. We were able to ask questions in the chat and they answered basically every single question that went in there. And they even made time for students who exams were coming up, pushing their questions to the front and really making sure that they got the most out of their time in office hours. These office hours were typically two hours in length. Sometimes they were held twice a day on different topics. Um, and they also had um, office hours that were specifically for open questions and answers where people can bring up the really hard concepts in the MCAT that were just not sticking. The best educators that I have seen, and I've been through a lot of schooling, so that says something. But yeah, I, I highly suggest the office hours. And every so often they have a free office hour as like a little trial. Try it out, see what I'm talking about. Follow them on Instagram, I think that's where they really drop them. But yeah, that is what I have to say about the office hours. Great resource. The next resource that I want to chat with you all about is the tutoring. And when I chose my tutoring package, I chose the package with the least amount of tutoring hours, which was 16, I believe, because that's all I could afford. I couldn't afford anything higher than that. But it was a really great resource to have the tutoring. And because I signed up for the tutoring, I also had access to this little tablet that they gave me here. And when I was doing my virtual tutoring lessons, I was able to write on the board that they had. And it just made it a lot easier to communicate and practice with my tutor. The way that I used my tutoring, the tutoring was great, but the way that I used it, I wish I could have done it a little bit differently because what happened was while I was going through all of the modules when I first started the program and when I was really just trying to get that content down, I was also having tutoring sessions, I believe, every two weeks or every week, I believe. I was having a tutor session for two hours and I don't think I needed that at that time. And what I should have done, I should have waited until I was through the content because where I really needed help was with my test taking strategies with my practice exams and going through those questions and things that I really didn't understand how to really look at it in the first place. That's where I really needed my help. So I wish that I would have saved my tutoring hours for the, le the later half of my MCAT prep instead of the beginning half. And this is something that I do with my students now, especially when it comes to MCAT tutoring. I like to kind of let them go out and do their content review on their own because the content is content. You're going to run into some really hard topics, of course, in your MCAT studies, but for the most part, you just got to get through it. And then once you get through it and you start practicing, you see what you really don't understand and what you really need help with. So I wish I, again, I wish I didn't use all, most of my tutoring hours off the bat and would have waited into the latter half. Because you do have the option to add on more tutoring hours later. But no, not, not me. I didn't have that option. So it really was just something that like I used them kind of when I shouldn't have. The last material that I want to talk to you all about are the books that were sent to me when I signed up for this program. So on top of the modules, on top of the tutoring, the office hours, they also sent me books. And I was like, oh my gosh, more books? I didn't even know this was coming. Yeah, so these came in the mail for me. And it was a nice little package. And inside of it, they have books for all the different topics that you need to cover, of course. And they have the biology book, right? The chemistry book and the organic chemistry book. They've got cars practice books. They've got a bunch of these great books. Um, did I use them for my MCAT prep? No. Um, I, I don't know, but just me, like, the books didn't work for my eyes, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it was just a lot of, like, there wasn't much color, honestly, the words were kind of small, the formatting was a little weird for me, so, like, just personally, my eyes didn't like it too much, so I just stuck with the videos and, um, my own notes. But these were, these are definitely another resource that you can take advantage of with this subscription to Blueprint. Me, personally, wasn't my thing, but I thought I'd throw it in there for anyone who's interested. So there we have it. I highly suggest Blueprint if you are looking for an MCAT prep company and you're not sure which one to choose. I would choose this one. I really liked my experience with them. Um, I'm also, just to let you know, I'm not getting paid for this. Nobody's paying me. This is just what I think. This is straight up what I think. Wasn't a huge fan of the books, but was a fan of basically everything else that this program had to offer. So I hope that you see this video. I hope that this helps to inform your decision a little bit more if you are looking for MCAT resources at the moment. If you have any more questions for me about Blueprint, Kaplan, which I did the previous video on, MCAT prep, pre-med life, anything, let me know down below in the comments or you can hit me up on Instagram, my website, 
anything really, I would love to help you out. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can subscribe down below and I'll love you forever. It's been nice chatting with y'all today and I'll see you next time.